Hey, Timothy, uh, listen, I'm, I figured, uh, since you uh, sent me the question via Facebook, I figured, why not answer you via video? So uh, I'm going to read your question, and then I'm going to answer it for you as best as I can. So it says, I'll be closing uh, an Intex above-ground pool in three or four weeks, so probably by the end of uh, August, beginning of September. Uh, it's a 4,400-gallon Intex pool, and you're asking, what chemicals do I need, how much do I need? And you're using the Flipping Frog, uh, which uh, King Technology just called me. I just learned about. So I, I highly recommend that product right now. They're actually sending me a few to test out. And um, so you said you live in Georgia and you don't think you need to take it down or apart because you don't have a hard winter there, uh, which you're probably right. But um, as far as what you would need um, for chemicals, uh, whenever you close down any pool, you need to make sure that your uh, pH and your alkalinity are properly balanced. So that's really the, the basis of all of it. So just make, sur make sure that your pH is at between 7.4 and 7.6, and your alkalinity is somewhere between 100 and 150. It can be anywhere within that. Um, uh, if you're at 125, that's perfect. Uh, so just make sure those two chemicals are in the right order or in the right, in the right range. Um, as far as that, chlorine. That's the only other thing you need to close down a pool. So what I would do in your case for being a 4,400 gallon pool, I would shock with one bag of calcium hypochlorite shock. Technically, one bag does about 10,000 gallons of water. So in your case, you'd be double shocking, but that's okay because I recommend people double shock it before they close anyway. So take one bag of calcium hypochlorite shock, doesn't matter which brand, um, but if you like a particular brand, go with that. Uh, just go to your local pool store, that's fine. Uh, mix it in a bucket of water. Uh, warm water works best if you if you have access to a, a large five gallon bucket of warm water, um, and just stir it with a stick. Make sure you're wearing you know crappy clothes and you have goggles and gloves, of course. Uh, stir it around and make sure it's properly dissolved, and then pour it around your pool at night if you can, or at dusk. At, at this point, if you're closing it during the day, it really doesn't matter. You can shock it at any time right before you close, but just do it right before you close. Make sure your filter's running. Um, if you don't want to shock, if you don't want to do that method, which you don't have to, uh, I would also recommend throwing in uh, a bag of non-chlorine shock, which is a little bit more expensive, but, uh, you won't have to run the pool as long and you can literally close it right afterwards. So I, what I would say is you can buy a bag of non-chlorine shock, dump it in the pool, let it run for about 15 minutes and then cover it. So that'll just get rid of all the nasties and stuff. And then... Uh, you can add a chlorine floater, but you don't have to. And in your case, I probably wouldn't because it's not necessary. Um, but if you're not planning on closing it because you're, you live in uh, Georgia, just make sure you keep it running for at least four to six hours a day because you don't want the water to freeze even a little bit. Because the, the, the water freezes, the ice expands, it's going to expand against the sides of the pool, and it could cause your pool to collapse. You don't want that, obviously. So um, as far as chemicals, pH, alkalinity... For pH, 7.4 to 7.6. For alkalinity, 100 to 150. And for chlorine, use a non-chlorine shock uh, or liquid chlorine uh, you could also use. Um, but as far as how much to add, just make sure your chlorine is up above three parts per million. And that's really all you need to do to close your pool. So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask again. Um, I don't know if I'll make another video, but I'll definitely answer you via text. So uh, thanks for your question, and I hope you, I wish you the best of luck with